Did you need something? Every time Stephanie dips, I want to put my hand up on. Hey again, how's it going? I'm actually having a pretty good time over here watching this young lady dance. But I might be persuaded to come out for a dip if circumstances change. Thousand? <laughs> I definitely If it ain't my best bra from another brother, that one doesn't work so well. Anyways, how goes our plan? There's an F-150 that can't see 20 yards in front of it. Whoa, this coffee is super cold, bro. Did you heat it up for me? Women's professional wrestling just got its own channel? Quick, somebody turn that on. I got the moves, baby. How's it going, dude? Staying away from the alcohol? Yeah, what's up? You're talking about those two goofy guys? I like them. If you want them out of here, I saw something fall off their balloon as they were landing or crashing. May want to look at that. Not Chet! Please come! Come quick! It's Aaron! He's... I don't know! He's losing it, man! It's not a person that fucked him up! Just come on! He's losing it. What the fuck is up with this painting? Aaron, stop making that noise, man. You're going to have some kind of breakdown. Some kind of mental breakdown. You got to fix this. I can't take him on stage if he's like this. It'll just confirm the rumors that he's a zognoid in disguise, pretending to be a human. Unconfirmed. Please fix my friend, not Chet. Shut the fuck up, dude. I'm working on it, Frank. Help me, bro. Please. This guy is like broken or something. Now, I heard him earlier saying they're famous for being grumpy or some shit, which sounds like a one stop ticket to litigation station if I put hands on him. But you. You're just a playable character. You ain't got to worry about personal injury lawsuits if you were to say, knock him silly. Just one highly trained combatant companion. It's not that you guys have to be completely sober. It's that I don't want you getting too wasted to try my- What's going on? Good to see you again. How's it going, dude? Staying away from the alcohol?
Thanks, brah. This will totally help keep my buzz going. What the fuck? I have like no cell signal. Is there anywhere in this house that has decent coverage? Chet, use your words and for teaching basic combat techniques, don't you? <laughs> don't let her. Aaron, you're alive, dude. It was like you were glitched out or something. Did you pee a little? It's okay if you peed a little. Dan, listen to me. While yes, I did pee a little, you can't let her cross over into this world. She's evil, Dan. The lady in the picture? That's no lady! She's a succubus, Dan! And she showed me visions that involved me peeing myself! Oh no! It's real! We have to get you out of this house, man! God, there's pee everywhere! Whatever that stupid shit you said was... Lightning bolt! Lightning Hey man! You find a way to get us out of here? For the love of God? Well, you seem to know this wasteland better than we do. Where should we look first? Nice! See, that's what I like about you, not Chet. You're a goddamn idea man. We need more folks like you. Aaron, come on! We're gonna go steal some car keys. Hey, brah? Are you sure that was an Irish coffee? My buzz is totally gone. Like a cell phone jammer? I think you're imagining things. If it ain't my best bra from another brother, that one doesn't work so well. Anyways, how goes our plan? Oh, yeah. Sure thing, brah. Let me go grab it from her. Yo. You want indoor. See, doctor, that reading makes you tired. Or that your roommate died. They'll give you anything if your roommate died. Brittany, brah. I'm totally sober. Can I have my phone back? Well, you certainly look much better. It's still a little hard to tell on account of your mental deficiency, but you don't seem drunk. So you can have this back now. Thanks, brah. Grinding my teeth as much as I can. Hey, bra, I totally got my phone from Brittany. There you go. You can use it now. Just promise not to give it back to me unless I seem sober, okay? Yeah, it is. I wasn't gonna say anything, but man. if it ain't my best bra from another brother, that one doesn't work so well. Anyways, how goes our plan? Thanks, bra. Speaking of which, I forgot to tell you the fascinating backstory of Ferdinand Calhoun, inventor of the steam whistle in 1803. Hi, hi, I'm Letty, Ashley's Spanish tutor. Ashley DM'd me asking me to come over for an emergency tutor session, but I had no idea it would be a group session. I've never done groups before. I'm sure I can handle it. So. ¿Cuál es tu nivel de español? It's Spanish, silly. Oh boy, that's okay. I guess we all gotta start somewhere. Thankfully, I brought a whole bunch of cool teaching materials with me. I've noticed that Ashley responds well to things she can actually touch and drink. It's a hard balance making sure she retains most of the lesson before blacking out. Man, I knew something was up. I'm such a fucking loser. Like, emergency tutoring session? The fuck is that? Sounds stupider every time I say it. So, you were saying this is a house party? Oh, that's cool. Totally cool. Muy bueno. I'm a party animal. Like, whenever I go to a house party, I turn that party into dope sickness on fleet. Lit. <laughs> Keep it together, hoodie. 
No, just ready to get funky. Slide to the left. Slide to the right. <laughs> Two hops this time. It's fine. Everything's fine. Here, take this box of poppers. I use them when Ashley's getting distracted from the lesson. The pop they make really makes her focus because she thinks there's a drive-by. But since there's no lesson, the last thing I need is one of them falling out of my pocket and everybody thinking Letty the party animal is packing heat. All right, thanks. See you soon, fellow party person. Hey, my phone's connected to my laptop's webcam and it snapped a photo of your fat head right around the same time that IMs mysteriously started getting sent from my account. So strange. And now I see that Letty's here? Are you trying to get me to fail Spanish? Letty is adorable, really she is, but I've come to notice during our tutor sessions that she's very, very, very gullible. Have you seen my group of friends? They're going to eat her alive. If she gets eaten alive, then there won't be anybody to do my Spanish homework for me. I mean, help me learn how to do my own Spanish homework. Listen, Letty's your responsibility for the rest of the evening. You go to watch her like a helicopter mom trying to make sure there's no touching at a school dance. Make sure she has a fun time, while also making sure she isn't completely wrecked by these savages, who I love dearly. Excuse me, Miss Lady or Letty, uh, whatever the hell. I got some business to discuss with you. A potential life-changing opportunity. Let's go somewhere we can really chat, huh? Follow me. I don't think you've got time to make any more jokes. Looks like someone's already trying to sink their teeth into Letty. You may want to get to work. Hello, hello! Whoa, no pressure or anything. Well, I'm Letty, you know that. I've got a YouTube channel, Letty Does Stuff. Maybe check that out. And I've been told I can be a little naive. Oh, I also really like meeting new people. That's not too cliche, is it? But yeah, I do stuff. All right, quick rundown. I've brought a bottle of Mexican liquor called El Scorpion Mezcal. A bottle of some of the hottest chili peppers found south of the border. And a talking sombrero wearing fish. If you need to know more about one of them, just ask. <laughs> That's sleazy Sancho, the shit talking sucker fish. Didn't you ever have one of those singing fish you could hang from the wall when you were growing up? Well, in Mexico, Sancho hangs on all the walls. Well, because he speaks in... Oh, wait. He just speaks in English with a really ignorant Mexican accent. But he's great for younger... No, he only says really offensive things that shouldn't be spoken in any language. Now that I think about it, this was a pretty inappropriate Christmas gift to give a kid. But you know what they say. Santa works in mysterious ways. All right, what do you want to know about? Ah, Mama Chupacabra's Chili Peppers. A delicacy. I only reward my best students with a taste of these babies. It's weird though, not everybody likes the very real, very painful sensation of your throat melting as much as I do. Well, because they're grown in Mexico! Immerse yourself in the culture, am I right? But I've heard rumors that they actually grow them in Louisiana. Those Cajuns know two things. Gator hunting and chili growing. And cousin fucking. Three things. Alright, what do you want to know about? It's not just any booze, it's mezcal.
It's essentially just tequila, but you can't deny how awesome it is that there's a real scorpion in the bottle. Pretty great, right? Well, most great tutors will tell you the best way to teach anything is by making a game out of it. And most great alcoholics will tell you there's no game like a drinking game. I feel like you didn't really appreciate that there's a fucking scorpion in here. Imagine what a prank it would be to put that in someone's back pocket. All right, what do you want to know about? Ugh, flashcards are so boring. Plus, just think about what the developers would do with that. Hey, Letty, we're gonna give you flashcards, and every time the player gets a question right, you flash them. Come on, we're better than that. Mix it up a little. Oh, lo siento. Sometimes I have these visions that I'm not from here. What were we talking about? So, you two are rich kids, teaching them how to speak Spanish and do the marimba, right? Must make a lot of the narrow doing that. Disposable income is a hell of a thing. Well, I'm not rolling in dough, but it's better than my old gig working as a booth babe at comic conventions. Lot of interesting smells, those events. Oh, speaking of. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hold up. Listen, I'm opening up my own self defense dojo in that strip mall by the highway. Now, how would you like to turn an investment of just four thousand dollars into? Oh, shit, you mean that old chicken on a stick place, right? The one that had the... Outbreak? The hazmat guys had to close off like three square blocks for that. Now that's the kind of smell that... It wasn't three square blocks. It was like one and a half. The weird chicken guy is gone. In jail, I think. It was his property, and once the chemical wash is dried up, and the people can get near the place without their skin burning, that property is going to be hot. It'll be prime real estate, and that's why I need your help. <gasps> no, God damn it! It's just happens to be where folks got sick. It'll be a self-defense studio. I'll be teaching people how to defend themselves and you know, combat situations, throwing kicks to the dicks of aggressors. So people come in and get kicked, but then they also get sick? No, what, what, what the fuck? Okay, simple question. You're coming out of the bar. Some asshole tries to grab you and get all in your hidden temple. What are you gonna do? Tell me, what are you going to do? I'm gonna make him eat that old chicken from your new store! Fuck! No! You're gonna do this! Ha! 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 Oh. Damn, I just hauled off and... Shit. Knocked out another potential investor. Hey, Letty. I'm real sorry for knocking you the fuck out. But you're being really dumb. Listen, I don't know if you can hear me, but uh, if you have any interest in putting some money towards this project, please, hit me up. Maybe that was the wrong choice of words. Just get in touch with me. 
I'm gonna go now. I got a fregada! What was that about? Just because I didn't understand her kicking store idea, she's gotta hit me? Oh, so uncool. Excuse me while I check for any missing teeth. I got a fregada! What was that about? Just because I didn't understand her kicking store idea, she's gotta hit me? Oh, so uncool. Excuse me while I check for any missing teeth. 